Deuteronomy chapter 20, Home of Christian Standard Bible. When you go out to war against your enemies and see horses, chariots, or an army larger than yours, do not be afraid of them, for the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, is with you. When you are about to engage in battle, the priest is to come forward and address the army. He is to say to them, Listen, Israel, today you are about to engage in battle with your enemies. Do not be cowardly, do not be afraid, do not be armed, alarmed or terrified because of them, for the Lord your God is the one who gives, goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give them victory, to give you victory. The officer said to address the army, Has any man built a new house and not dedicated it? Let him leave and return home. Otherwise, he may die in battle and another man dedicate it. Has any man planted a vineyard and not begun to enjoy its fruit? Let him leave and return home. Otherwise, he may die in battle and another man enjoy its fruit. Has any man become engaged to a woman and not married her? Let him leave and return home. Otherwise, he may die in battle and another man marry her. The officers would continue to address the army and say, Is there any man who is afraid or cowardly? Let him leave and return home so that his brother's hearts won't melt like his own. When the officers have finished addressing the army, they will report the military commanders to leave it. When you approach a city to fight it, you will make an offer of peace. If it accepts the offer of peace and opposes, opens its gates to you, all the people found in it will become forced laborers for you and serve you. However, if it does not make peace with you, but wages war against you, lay siege to it. When the Lord your God hands it over to you, you must strike down all males with the sword. But you may take the women, children, animals, and whatever else is in the city, all its spoil as plunder. You may enjoy the spoil of your enemies that the Lord your God has given you. This is how you are to treat all the cities to your that are far away from you and are not among the cities of these nations. However, you must not let any living things survive among the cities of these people the Lord your God is giving you as inheritance. You must completely destroy them, the Hittite, Amorite, Canaanite, Perizzite, Hivite, Jebusite, as the Lord your God has commanded you, so that they won't teach you to do all their detestable things they do for their gods and you sin against the Lord your God. When you lay siege to a city for a long time, fighting against it in order to capture it, you must not destroy its trees by putting an ax to them because you can get food from them. You must not cut them down. Are trees of the field human to come under siege by you? But you may destroy the trees that you know do not produce food. You may cut them down to build siege works against the city that is waging war against you until it fails.